Hey guys, had a few people ask, so I might as well uh, just share it with you. The accessories that I've put on the Talon to this point. Um, haven't really done anything crazy, uh, mainly just bolt on stuff. Um, wanna thank my buddy, Steven Claybaugh at Bakersfield UTV and Stereo. Um, he ordered all that stuff for me, helped me with the stuff that I couldn't do myself. Um, he's a super good dude here locally in Bakersfield, California. Um, but he'll do work from anywhere. He's honest and genuine and a really good mechanic and does really great insurance work. He's, I've seen some vehicles in there that were totally trashed that he made brand new again. Um, so now that I've given him that little plug, as far as uh, lighting goes, I put, we, I wanted to put a, you know, obviously a, a, a big light bar on the top, but the way that the roof is, again, my chief complaint with this car is the roof. Um, it was gonna be really hard to mount it. So instead I went with two um, uh, pod lights on the uh, post and two down here on the bumper. Um, I actually, we actually had these two just laying around. So we threw those on there and then those are uh, X bright. And then um, these ones are uh, squadron. Uh, squadrons are super bright. Um, I know it's daylight, so it's hard to tell, but the, the front of the car looks super aggressive at night. I'll, I'll try to put a picture on there if I can. And then also I went to um, Rocky Mountain ATV and ordered their stage three kit for the Talon. Um, and that comes with is a foldable windshield, which I really like. I'm never, excuse me, foldable glass windshield too. I'm probably never gonna fold it down, um, but I like the look of it. I like that it kind of matched the paint of the car. Um, it's got some little vents here that you can pop up, which I like. Um, it also came with these uh, mirrors which are nice, nice and large, uh, collapsible, of course. Um, it came with the door inserts, which like I said in the previous video, I think are a must have for this car because they're just gonna dump dust everywhere um, in it. Um, and then going towards the back, um, they also came with the rear windshield. I'm still kind of on the fence of the rear windshield. Um, I feel like it just gets super dusty and uh, also, it, it reflects the uh, chase light, which we'll talk about in a minute, really, really, really badly. Um, so that was that stage three kit. It was super reasonably priced and came with basically everything you're gonna need for the for the car. I think it was a thousand bucks. The next thing I got was this tailgate from Rocky Mountain UTV. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on here forever as I get spare tire mounts and things like that. Um, I don't know, but for now it does good. Um, we'll store our stuff in there and it uh, extends the bed a couple inches and I'm really happy with it. Um, so, and then also on the rear, I went and, and we got an uh, X-Bright chase light. Um, it's a 30 inch, um, does all kinds of cool stuff. You can adjust the light modes um, and I'm happy with that. Of course, with the HD camera, it looks like those uh, red lights are flashing, but they're actually solid. And then lastly, I just went with an X-Bright whip. Um, got my Bakersfield UTV and stereo flag on the back. Um, probably gonna mount another one eventually uh, the harness came with room for two but for now we're just doing one um, so that's really everything I've done on the exterior of it and as far as the interior goes uh, pretty basic right I just put these pro armor harnesses on here um, one thing that I really liked about the Talon is that it came with the holes already there to run the harnesses and then obviously they just mount to the factory seat belt um, mounts uh, it went with the thicker one in the front smaller one in the back because it's where the kids are probably going to be um and then the last accessory sorry i got my crap in here that i put in the inside is this uh utv mountain accessories um bump seat uh we have a we have a little boy who is about two years old and that's where he's going to sit um it was super easy to install too until you had to wedge it between these two seats that that was a chore but we got it done and it looks really good in there um, so as far as that, that's, that's all I've put on the inside. I've put on this car, of course, just like everything, there'll be more to come. Um, but I think it looks pretty trick the way that it is right now. And, uh, yeah. So hope you guys like it. Uh, we're actually going to go out this weekend and kind of give it its uh, first break in and we'll see how that goes. Thanks a lot.